Hey, Board of the Six, everybody, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and take some Vulture Aid, thank you very much, and take an Ethereum Crystal, too. Guys, today we're talking map remakes. Remasters? Is it coming in Zombies Chronicles 2 and Black Ops 6? What do we think? Remakes. We're talking Transit, Die Rise, Buried, Town, Farm. Those are now maps that everybody wants back, right? We had Zombies Chronicles and Black Ops 3. That went over so well, thank God. In fact, I believe it was the highest grossing DLC of all time for gaming. Which, if you think about it, why would they not do that again? And we've had leaks and rumors in the past, right? Throughout the Black Ops 4 DLC season. You know, even in Cold War as well. We had leaks pointing towards a transit remaster, right? Black Ops Zombies Chronicles 2.0. And I believe the community's opinions right now on this matter is, it's just a matter of time, right? We've seen some assets pop up. Black Ops 4 multiplayer map, for example. We saw that Ted was completely remastered along with the transit bus and sections of diner. And you think to yourself, why the hell would they remaster all of that just for a multiplayer map? I think we're gonna see it, I really do. But we ought to talk about something else. Round two, everybody, go ahead and take some speed cola, thank you very much. As I'd like to begin talking about what these maps could even look like. Let's just say they do exactly what they had done back in 2016 with Black Ops 3. They give us old zombie maps and faithful remasters, right? These are just the maps, better graphics, same story. You know, everything is the same, right? I believe they even had some old uh, map creators who had worked on those maps come back for Chronicles. And I think that's awesome. And to be honest with you, if we had a Zombies Chronicles 2, would that even make sense? Right, so let's think about what maps would be in it. Taking that Ethereum Crystal, thank you very much. We're talking Buried, Transit, Die Rise, maybe even Der Eisendrack. Honestly, wouldn't mind if they uh, included some Black Ops 3 maps in there, but honestly, how far could they go with the remasters, right? Because Black Ops 3, to this day, still looks beautiful. But see, I'm not sure if having a bunch of different maps in there from like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 with the new movement system would really make sense, right? I feel like Treyarch would probably just lock on to some of those maps from Black Ops 2 and go, these maps in Black Ops 2 would work absolutely magnificent with the new Omni movement. Transit, maybe it's not that bad to get around anymore. And let's talk about remasters for a second, right? Because I know that they were working on a Die Rise remaster. I know I think Transit was also gonna be a remaster at some point, you know, in Black Ops 3 for custom zombies. I know Mob of the Dead has been done so well remastered. Even Call of the Dead, that map. I would love. But that brings us to a bigger issue here. What about voice lines, right? Couldn't have Mob of the Dead remastered, right? Or at least officially, because the contracts probably expired with the uh, voice acting and they couldn't probably use those same, you know, voice clips in the new game. And that's understandable. Same thing with Call of the Dead 5. And you know, looking down the road, potentially even the transit crew, Victus. I would love if they continued the Victus storyline. That would be amazing. And you know what? I'm not totally convinced that we won't see that in Black Ops 6. I think they could pull it off because those characters deserved way better endings, right? But yeah, let's just say that the voice actors or whatever, there's some contract misinformation, yada yada. They can't use the lines in the new, uh, in the new maps. Considering we already have a set crew with Weaver and all them, what if the maps aren't just hardcore remasters and they're actually remakes? You know, maybe it could take place after the crews have already been there. Maybe it could take place before or even an alternate timeline, right? What if you had Dark Eisendrack Dark Ether? I don't know if I'd like it all purple, but maybe like Vanguard Dark Ether-esque, right? That'd be sick. And you may ask yourself, well, how would that be a better trade-off than remakes? Well, let me tell you this. What if there's Easter eggs on these maps, right, that pertain to the old storyline and the new one, giving us even more beats through radios, through stuff like that, and we actually just play as operators. That way, Activision can make their bread with the operator system. We could have our old maps we know and love back. Maybe they could even play like survival maps. You know, at this point, there's been so many remasters. I'm not sure just concrete remakes would be the way to go. Look, I still have a bunch of fun going on the old Call of Duties and playing all the maps, right? Black Ops 1 I've been playing a lot recently. Call of the Dead, great. Taking a Ethereum crystal. My God. And if we really, really do want to go the conspiracy route, what if we had the maps remastered faithfully, but taken place with a different crew? Like Ether Stories, for example. A concept I had a while back in a previous video, talking about if they were to remaster maps, they should just go and make them a part of the Ether storyline, but with different crews. Take, for example, Farm before the bombs fell, or Area 51 at the same time that the bombs fell from Moon. And in fact, I think we may see a very similar situation to that in Liberty Falls. I think the Easter egg is gonna change the map completely. What if somehow we open a portal, right? At the same point of the ether timeline in the sky that the rockets are coming in, blows it up, lava everywhere, we'd have town back. But that is an entirely different passionate ramble for a separate video. 
I think the story's gonna do crazy shit this year. Black Ops 6, how could you not be excited? Guys, it's October, it's getting a little cooler. Bring out those fall candles, it's time. Y'all, if you are excited as me, go ahead and ding that bell, please. Guys, 1.4K subs, I can't believe it. Amazing, we got some awesome guests coming on the game show very soon. Guys, we're gonna try and get to 50 likes on this video. That is huge, that is insane. But as always, guys, I always love talking about this stuff, so please, if you want to continue the conversation down in the comments below, feel free, I welcome you. I'd love to see you in the next video, thank you.